Shocking Testimony I invite you to watch this video until the end, to see what a young man did, it is impressive. Last March 15th was the 8th anniversary of the attacks against Christians in Pakistan, where the young Akash Bashir, the first servant of God of this country, gave his life to prevent more people from dying. Now other young people look up to him as a model and religious minorities admire him. In a note published by the Pontifical and Missionary Agency Fides, it is detailed that the brave Akash did not have an easy life. He was born into a poor family, with a lack of good food. It was difficult for him to learn to speak and walk until he was four years old, and he had a stutter for a while. He went through several schools, because he had difficulties with his studies, until he was received by the Salesians at the Don Bosco Technical and Youth Center. However, what he excelled at most was the practice of the faith and his charity. He is remembered as smiling, simple and respectful. Naveed, a Muslim optician, notes that whenever he saw a poor person, he was saddened. If he had nothing to offer or donate, he would pray for them. Although he was sometimes hungry, he used to give his food to others. He prayed frequently in the parish before an image of Our Lady, prayed the Holy Rosary with the community and participated in pilgrimages to a Marian shrine. Gradually he cultivated a life, committed to the faith and joined a group of security volunteers to guard the entrance to St. John's Parish. On March 15, 2015, the 20-year-old discovered that a person who wanted to enter the temple was carrying explosives under his clothes. He tried to stop him from advancing, but could not convince the terrorist to desist. Then Akash hugged him tightly and said, I will die, but I will not let you enter the church. The attacker set off the bomb and they both died. With his heroic act he prevented hundreds of people from perishing during the Mass. According to Father Pierluigi Cameroni, postulator general of the Salesians, with his death, this young servant of the Gospel teaches that the glory of heaven, the glory that lasts a lifetime and even eternal life, is not that of riches and power, but that of love and dedication. Currently, more than 800 Catholic baptisms are celebrated annually at St. John's Church and many young people have joined the active life of the parishes. In addition, for religious minorities a cash is a blessing. He is a luminous model for other young people and people of other religions, a source of inspiration in service to others and selfless help, concluded Father Cameroni. According to Fides, on January 31, 2022, on the Feast of St. John Bosco, Pope Francis announced Akash Bashir as a servant of God. Akash Bashir's parents are waiting for his beatification. Let us pray to God to help us make good Christians like Akash Bashir. Praise Jesus Christ.